example, a solution is made by mixing 2.5 grams of isopropanol with 100 grams of H2O. The density of C3H8O is 0 0.786. The C3H8O is the isopropanol, okay, which by the way looks like this in case you want the structure. There's another H here. It is a three carbon chain and in the middle carbon it has a hydrogen attached to it. It also has a hydroxide attached to it. So that's isopropanol. That's basically rubbing alcohol is what that is. Okay, is a grams per milliliter. Your task is to express the concentration in the four different ways described above. Now I have to say, some people are kind of sticklers about this. When they say concentration, they, they're speaking strictly about moles per liter. But concentration in its generic term means how much of a solute is in a particular solution. So any of these could actually be used for concentration. So it just depends on what we're talking about. So if somebody talks about concentration, it's always good to ask what unit are we using? Are we using molality? Are we using molarity, mole fraction, mass percent, uh, something else called normality, which we won't discuss? Um, you know, what? Okay. So once again, we have 2.5 grams of isopropanol, which is a liquid, and mixed with 100 grams of H2O, also a liquid. All right. Let's go ahead and do our first one, which is mass percent. So number one, which is mass percent. Well, we said the mass percent is the mass of, let me just write it again, the mass of the isopropanol over total mass. Well, times 100. Well, what's the mass of the isopropanol? It is 2.5 grams. What's the total mass? Well, the total mass is 100 grams plus the 2.5 grams times 100. So it's 2.5 over 102.5. You end up with 2.44% by mass. 2.44% by mass. 2.44% by weight. Um, that means that if I have 100 grams of that substance, 2.44 grams of it is going to be isopropanol. If I have 50 grams of that substance, 1.22 grams is going to be isopropanol. 2.44% of any particular amount is going to be isopropanol. The rest of that solution is going to be water. It's an expression of how much solute there is in our solution. Okay. Number two, molarity. Well, Molarity is the moles of isopropanol over liters of solution. So here we have some convergence that we need to make. So let's talk about moles of solute first. Moles of isopropanol. Well, we have 2.5 grams and one mole of isopropanol is 60 grams. So we end up with 0.0417 mole. So we have the numerator. Now H2O. H2O, well 100 grams is 100 milliliters equals 0 0.100 liter because water is one gram per milliliter in general. It's at four degrees Celsius but not a problem. Now isopropanol. Here we're doing volume. Isopropanol, we said we have 2.5 grams, and we said that one milliliter of that is 0 0.786 grams. 
So what we have here is 3.18 milliliters, which is equivalent to 0 0.00318 liters. So our molarity is equal to the moles, 0 0.0417 mole, divided by this plus this. 0 0.10318 liter, and we end up with 0 0.404 molarity. That means for every liter of solution, it contains 0 0.404 moles of that isopropanol. Okay. Let's see, mole fraction. Mole fraction. So the chi of the isopropanol is equal to, again, the moles of the isopropanol, which we got from the previous one, over the total moles. Okay, so we said that our isopropanol contained 0 0.0417 mole. Uh, let me write these a little bit better here. 0 0.0417 mole. H2O, on the other hand, we have 100 grams of it, and one mole of H2O is 18 grams. We end up with 5.56 mole. Therefore, our chi of isopropanol is equal to 0 0.0417 mole divided by 5.56 plus 0 0.0417. You end up with 0 0.0074. I hope you'll forgive me if I don't write 7.4 times 10 to the negative 3. I'm actually not a big fan of scientific notation myself. I prefer decimals. So that is the mole fraction. And last but not least, molality, which will show up again when we discuss the colligative properties, boiling point elevation, freezing point depression, osmotic pressure, vapor pressure of solution, things like that. It is the moles of solute. Oh, actually, let's just go ahead and, because we're dealing with isopropanol, let's just say moles of isopropanol, divided by the kilograms of water. This is the one that's actually different. That you're not actually combining things in the denominator. Separate solute solvent equals 0 0.0417 mole divided by 0 0.100 kilogram, right? 100 grams, 0.1 kilograms equals 0 0.417 molal. We say for molarity, molar. For molality, we say molal. There we go. Okay, so these are the four ways that you're going to see concentration talked about. In this particular chapter, um, we're going to talk about molarity mostly, uh, but we're also going to be talking about molality because, again, when we discuss vapor pressure and the colligative properties in the next lesson, uh, as it turns out, the mathematical expression requires that the concentration be expressed in molality. So I will go ahead and stop it there, and uh, next time we'll discuss vapor pressure of a solution and begin discussing colligative properties, and we'll finish off our discussion of solutions. Till then, thank you for joining us here at educator.com. We'll see you next time. Bye.